So right now it's 10.30 and look how busy we are at the beach. It's like being in the Mediterranean. That's not bad actually, it's pretty good. This is one of my favorite spots here in Ontario. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel. The channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. And as you can tell from behind me, I'm in Crystal Beach. I'm about two kilometers away from my house. And I thought I'd do a video here today. Uh, so two videos in one day. So I'm doing a Sea Do Life adventure. And also this is Niagara. So I'm going to take you into Crystal Beach. I'm going to walk around Erie uh, Road. So you can see down there. Uh, it's a busy morning. So I expect quite a few people will be down there. And then after that, we're going to go out onto the lake, take the Sea Do out and have a ride around uh, Crystal Beach, see the beach and uh, the lighthouse, get the drone up and get some good shots and just basically show you Crystal Beach today. So uh, welcome to Crystal Beach. start the walk from here uh, this is Erie Road in Crystal Beach I'm gonna walk all the way down to the beach and see what we can see uh, see what's open and grab ourselves a coffee now the funny thing is I did this last night and I came in here and got a pint of Guinness well I say a pint it was a can and it cost me a fortune uh, but unfortunately uh, my microphones didn't work so uh, I have all this video from last night but no uh, actual audio uh, so I can play a little bit of it but it'll mean nothing because you can't hear what I'm saying but basically I'm complaining because I paid $10.19 for a Guinness which came in a can so anyway uh, let's head on down Crystal Beach so we can see and grab ourselves a coffee I'd just like you know it's a very warm humid morning today uh, we're in the middle of July, uh, it's not as hot as it normally is for July, uh, but it is warm <coughs> and uh, quite a bit of humidity. Alright, what have we got here? This is an old rundown building with some uh, old images on it of the past. Uh, the comet, which is up there, and the cyclone. Uh, but over here would have been the amusement park, which is now a uh, private gated community, sadly. And this building's a little uh, run down. Looks like it hasn't been open for a very long time. Now, the amusement park that used to be here uh, ran from 19, 18, 18, 1888 to 1989, 101 years. And it stood right there. But like I said, they tore it down. It, went, it ran into difficulties. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about it. And uh, this gated community was built. So anyway, since I've lived in this area, I just live in Ridgeway, just, which is like two kilometers over. And uh, when I first came down here 10 years ago, uh, this place was kind of dead, like run down, crappy. Um, sorry if I offend anyone, but it's just my personal take. But I've noticed over the last few years, it's coming back to life, which is really, really cool. 
and I'm really happy to see it. And it's nice to actually walk down here. It's very colorful. Uh, the hanging baskets are out. A lot of businesses are, uh, are opening up once again. And don't forget, we've just been through a two year pandemic and they struggled through this. There was not much tourism uh, in the summer of 2020. Uh, 2021 was a little bit better, but overall, uh, yeah, two years of hardship. Uh, but a lot of them have, have survived just about. And it's also nice to see a few new businesses popping up in the area too, which we'll have a look very shortly because I'm just approaching uh, Derby Road, or as they say over here in Canada, Derby Road. And there's a couple of businesses up there, but carry on having a look around. So what can I tell you about Crystal Beach itself? Well, it started off as a police, uh, a police village uh, back in the uh, 1895. And 100 years ago, the population of Crystal Beach was only 300 people. And now it's close to 9,000 people. Uh, so uh, a much busier town, uh, but it heavily relies on tourism. Um, and the 10 weeks of summer, which is July 1st to Labor Day, is uh, full of them. Uh, a lot of uh, out-of-towners from, let's say, the, the Toronto area, Mississauga, places like that. And also a lot of Americans coming over from Buffalo come down here too. So anyway, this is Derby Road, or Derby Road, as I would like to say. Uh, South Coast restaurant, very popular place. I'll have a walk around so we can see. It might be early for a few things that are open. They're closed Sunday, that's a shame. I really wanted to try their stuff. Uh, King's Head uh, English Pies and Takeaway. I really wanted to try that. Uh, I'll have to come down to, uh, when I'm off next week and check it out. So as you can see, they're trying to bring the, the, the village of the town back to life. But as soon as you cross the road here at Cambridge on Derby, Derby, it's derelict. And uh, be nice to see an injection of cash and some more businesses pop up along here. Uh, I'm told by the people that lived down here for decades, this was really a thriving place up until when the amusement park closed. I mean, this, these roads would have been packed with people walking around, especially in the evening. And the restaurants would have been packed. The whole street of Erie Road would have been uh, jammed with visitors from all over. And I'm not just talking a few hundred, we're talking thousands of people. I've seen the, photograph, uh, the photographs online and the YouTube videos and it shows it. And it's hard to believe that this was once here. Now to put it in perspective, uh, if you're in the UK, uh, Crystal Beach Amusement Park, quite similar to Southport in size. Definitely more like Southport, not Blackpool. It didn't have the rides like Blackpool, but very much like a Southport. Uh, slightly smaller, a couple of roller coasters and a few other things, um, but it was a major attraction. But anyway, as I say, check those, uh, you can find videos on YouTube about that, Crystal Beach uh, Amusement Park, and now uh, you'll be able to see for yourself. But anyway, let's carry on walking around. A couple of people setting up for the day. Some jewelry. I guess it's for the kids. Hopscotch. I <laughs> think I did that when I was at school once. Yeah. All right, let's go and carry on walking down here, try and find a coffee shop, get some coffee. It's a nice little uh, boutique store here. Not open yet, it's probably open shortly. Nice hammock in the window. Some nice little knickknacks though. For your garden, make it all nice. Well, I got one of them in my bathroom, one of those boats, great from North Carolina. Now, as I said, back in the day, here, that would have been exactly where the amusement park would have been. The roller coaster, one of the roller coasters would have been back here. The other one was on the waterfront side. And I'll, when I'm on the waterfront later on, I'll probably put a picture up. Um, but I have done a video on that before. Well, I'll put some links in the video. Um, Regarding, regarding the, uh, the park that used to be here. Some information booth. Good morning. Good morning. You want to get some information of Crystal Beach and what to do, you can just come along here and on the main street and you'll find some information. Now, when I was down here last night, this place was packed. This is an Italian restaurant. We also had a singer playing here in the corner. But of course you can't hear it because my audio didn't work. Get your plumbing and heating 
frets. Don't have to fret about it. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Another old building. At some point would have been a big business back in the day. Now, Crystal Beach Brewing Company. Looks like it would have been something else back in the day. Someone told me there used to be a roller disco down here. Was it a roller disco I'm thinking of? Not too sure. A lot of homes up here, and amongst the homes are actually holiday uh, lets, little cottages you can rent. Hence why there's a lot of tourism down here. Very popular place down here, sneakers. Guinness. Every time I see Guinness sign, I just want a Guinness right away. So yeah, pretty popular place at night. In fact, this place is open all year round. Uh, it seems to be busy uh, all the time, but most of these other places are closed uh, when it's out of season. And there they go. Some ponies. Some of these. Jack, Coca, Adams. All right, order myself a coffee and uh, carry on with the walk. It goes here. Um, just a coffee, please. Coffee? Yeah. Would you like um, a large or medium? Uh, large. Uh, with milk and sugar. Yeah, but I know. Have a great day. You too, thanks. Now we can carry on. I'm going to sit across the road and drink this coffee. Someone set up some nice chairs here to sit in. I sit in the shade. It's a little hot right now. And drink, drink the coffee and enjoy the morning. That's not bad actually, it's pretty good. Busy place where I got the coffee from. I like seeing that. Crystal Ball Beach Cafe. Oh, look at this. These look like the original stumps, most likely from the theme park. Um, is there anything that says yay or nay? No, nothing written on them. But they look like they would have been part of the theme park. They look old. Now, parking's at a premium, $15. You park there, you can probably park over here. Most of them, uh, most of the parking down here is on meter. All right, this is a good place, Casa Hugo. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this place. I'm gonna check it out probably next week or the week after when I'm on vacation. Uh, me and the wife will go down there. Uh, I walked past here last night and it was busy. I say last night, it's like early evening. People walking around, getting ready to uh, Head to the beach. Mabel's Gourmet Pizza. Ladies heading down to the beach. Another popular cafe here, Crystal Beach. Having a spot of breakfast outside. Church on the beach, if anyone is interested. Not my cup of tea. All right, Bay Beach Ashwood entrance. So you can enter the beach this way if you want. Uh, there is a daily rate and there is capacity limits on the beach, but you can find that information out on the Town of Fort Erie's website. It keeps you up to date with how many people are on the beach in real time. So you can actually see whether you can get on the beach. There's nothing worse than paying for parking than find out you can't get on the beach because it's so busy. Anyway, this place last night was busy, uh, beach house. Uh, it was around about eight o'clock last night, everyone was coming off the beach. I was quite surprised, at seven o'clock, the beach was really busy still. But uh, right now it's 10.30 and the parking lot, the first parking lot is already full. With people heading to the beach for the day. I did a video on uh, Bay Beach, also known as Crystal Beach, uh, two years ago. I'll put a link in, I'll put a, if you're watching this video on uh, your computer or your smart device, I'll put a link, you can just click on it, you can watch that, so a look at Crystal Beach in depth at the, the beach itself. But yeah, here we are. Uh, it was all modernized a few years ago. 
Uh, it's got a little kiddie area. I mean, when I came down here and did the video, I think we were under the first bit of COVID, so it was 2020. And this was all uh, roped off, fenced off uh, for COVID, and the beach was at limited capacity. Uh, but now the capacity limits have been lifted, and everyone can get back on the beach again, and everyone can play on the park and swings. Uh, people are uh, doing their uh, parking app. Oh, no, buy, you can buy your beach pass from these machines, that's right. So, previously you had to buy your beach pass from these people as you came in. A town of 40 employees would have been here, but now it looks like they just have security company here. So right now it's 10.30, and look how busy we are at the beach. It's like being in the Mediterranean. People are already uh, out, umbrellas up, towels down. And now there's uh, these matted areas so wheelchairs can get better access onto the beach. Uh, like I said, did a video on this uh, two years ago, so I'll put a link in, just check it out. All right, so there you have it. That is a little walk around Crystal Beach. Uh, the pier jets out over there was part of the amusement park. And what I'll do, I'm gonna drive around to the boat launch and I'll get a nice drone shot of that for you very shortly. So for now, let's head back down to the uh, vehicle, go home, get the sea dew and hit the water. It's a beautiful day. Uh, the winds are pretty light, so I can actually get the drone into the air today, which is cool. So right now it's going to show you uh, the parking lot where I am here at Crystal Beach. Quite a few trailers here at the moment because a lot of fishing boats are out, and, uh, but in another couple of hours this will probably be packed with a lot of uh, personalised craft uh, speed boats and things like that. Uh, so anyway, I'm just parked right here. I'm just going to get myself prepared and set up. And I'm going to head out onto the water. I'll put the drone up over the beach, around the surrounding coastline, and maybe up to Point Abenov Lighthouse, and so on. So today it's just a little ride around locally, conserve the gas, because gas is still a little expensive. And so far this season, it's been very, very expensive. So anyway, here it goes. This is Crystal Beach. It's a beautiful day. It's currently 28 degrees Celsius and very, very light winds. And it's a beautiful, glorious day. And uh, when I head over to Crystal Beach very shortly in the main beach area, we'll put the drone up, show you around that area, show you some of the coastline. And today being very calm, we should be able to make it into Point Abino and uh, have a look at the lighthouse again, which is always nice. And we're going. Oh, that's nice. A bit of fresh air. After a long week at work, I needed this. Wow, the water's quite shallow here today. A little lower than normal. I can uh, clearly see the base. Five feet. Quite a few boats already here. Uh, the beach is looking pretty much packed already very popular place during the 10 weeks of summer. I'll find somewhere to anchor and uh, get the drone up. Moving along the coastline here, Crystal Beach. Uh, the boat pub's down there. We'll head out down that way. 
then over to the lighthouse. Beautiful on the water today. Such a nice day. All right, it's a lot shallower than normal. Um, usually my sea do floats here. <laughs> and I usually tie it up between those two things there. But uh, right now, it's there just resting on the, uh, the slab there, which is quite full of film, so it's not really gonna scratch it up, so it should be good. This is one of my favorite spots here in Ontario. I just love coming here. Uh, been coming here now for the last couple of years. Came with a kayak a couple of years back. And since I've had the sea do, I'm out here all the time. It's just a beautiful place to get away from everything, have a drink and just relax and stare at a bit of history. There you have it that was a quick tour around crystal beach a better look at what's available here the beaches the ramp and everything like that in the meantime i'm going to enjoy the rest of the day and i might just show you a little bit more of down that end in a bit but in the meantime i'm going to grab a drink and enjoy this beautiful weather
deep enough. As you can see, <laughs> very, very shallow. Uh, shallower than normal. Out of nowhere, big rock appears. That's really exposed now. It's getting shallower again. I can see more shallowness. Here we go. Right. I'm I'm now free of the shallow water. I'm back on Lake Erie in the open water. Busy now. Got here at the right time. Quite a few jet skis as well. 